Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a multidimensional healer and the creator of Twin Flame Reconnection for the integration of your brand new light body located in Chicago. How are you? Today I want to talk to you about cosmic and universal levels of karma that need to come out and it's already coming out in droves and healing it. So what is meant by this? Well, for the majority of people who identify as twin flames, and even for those who do not identify as twin flames, because you would be surprised to find out, and I know this from reading for people and doing their energy work, I can detect their real twin flame and the twin flames confusion and the twin flames wondering and the twin flame having dreams about what is this all about without any context. So part of that stems from where you fell apart at the cosmic level. That's your cosmic karma. This involves wars, wars with weaponry that we have never even seen or invented. We don't remember it. We have inklings of it. In fact, once when I was, I was getting my eye repaired and the doctor used a laser for the retina to seal it. And I said, wow, this laser is amazing. Although it felt like getting socked in the face, it worked. And I heard the words, well, the Syrians are using their lasers for good now. So presumably it was lasers, all kinds of stuff, right? We don't know. Some people might feel that they know, they know a percentage and yet still that was then, this is now. How are you focusing in the now to do the things to alleviate your cosmic level karma and universal karma? Universal karma involves the things that, believe it or not, are closest to home. These are things with sisters and brothers, mothers and fathers, children, things that are close to us, our homes, our current homes, not the long lost homes from eons ago, not the long lost planets from God knows when, okay? Even if you can say that, even if you're, and there's a lot of people that do it, they're like, duh, 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 I know, and yet they do not have what it takes right here. Why? They've been waiting for this time so that they can pick up their essence from that point. That essence of theirs actually has to reconnect with the seeds of their brand new light body that is within. So that brand new light body can remember, oh yeah, this happened, that happened, that goes into your Akashic records. Those, that's your repository of things that have happened to you. Experiences, bad experiences, good experiences. People trip out because that has been strongly connected to the limbic system. And the limbic system has been strongly connected to the frontal lobe. What you see, what you take in, that's all over now. You have to be able to see your other. You have to be able to meet your other. You have to be able to heal your side and help them to heal their side and merge back together again. So even if you've experienced one, there is more to come. There is more upliftment. When I say upliftment, I mean really get into that vibrational level that is suitable for you as lovers the increase of your lover's intuition, which is even faster than what your gut's telling you. When it comes to other aspects of the universal karma, this includes safety. This includes not succumbing to the fears, the paranoia, the old ways that we've had to deal with it in the past. This involves tapping into aspects of yourself that make it entirely new, make it a new experience and create the newness of what do we need for solutions? Okay, there are people inventing things because we have already tapped into some of that level and distributing it here, but it's not happening for the masses. The masses are living in fear, but their spirits, their spirits are hopeful of something better. Your spirit gave you hope when that first jolt of love hit you and you're like, wow, now I feel alive. Now I feel like, I don't know, I am enough. I am strong. I am woman. I am a man. Like I'm really, I'm a lover. Yes, you are a lover. 
and someone loves you and you are here to love, wouldn't you like to feel that coursing through your body, healing and opening and popping and pulsing with life? Wouldn't you like to really diverge from all the rest of the crowd who is so angry? Yes, there are justifications on both sides, on every side, because of history, because of cosmic karma. But would you like to get away? Would you like to really feel the love? Would you like then to be able to turn around and help others? Listen, mental health is a huge issue, okay? It's also a huge problem, and I'll tell you why. There is insufficient help. Some countries have no help. Some countries have limited help. My country has wait lists and deductibles and co-pays and 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 and, okay? What I'm saying to you is there is a swap out here. Swap the old stuff for the new stuff. Swap your old version of a light body which helped you function as an individual until it didn't. And it's time for your new body that helps you function as a couple without the world throwing you off, without them sucking out your love, without them making you sick, without them leaning on you, dumping you, dumping on you, without them trauma bonding you, without them trauma dumping on you, okay? This has all affected everyone's mental health. And you can feel things. If you're more electric, you can feel disgust, frustration, angry. If you're more magnetic, you sometimes feel very overloaded, overwhelmed, frustrated, and sometimes you can feel depressed or suicidal, anxious. I'm here to say to you, let's bring that to the middle. Feel yourself, feel the love, feel the passion feel parts of you pulsing with life alive healing wanting creating living and loving okay because when the love comes to you and it will your soul's in charge of that your higher self wants your participation in the very thing that you incarnated here for so cosmic and universal karma, yes, it's a thing. You're seeing it play out. Everybody's roots have been shaken. Those, that's not a foundation anymore. You cannot use the mental beliefs to get by. People don't want it anymore. We have to create new things. We have to get to the truth, okay? We don't want to revert backwards. We are seeing this in some countries. We're seeing somewhere they're like, their safety plan, isn't safe. It's especially not safe for women. It's like you're going back to medieval times and you're, you know, suppressing the women so hard, they're just killing their own damn selves. They're like, okay, I'm out. I they have no life. Okay. What you do from the safety of your country has a positive effect on those people. We are the ones uplifting. We are the ones who are creating this change by changing ourselves, by doing the integration of your twin flame body, by focusing on a real aspect of love, not just, you know, well, I gotta love my brothers and sisters, we're all here to coexist. That doesn't cut it for some people. Also, the romance, the kissing, when is the kissing part gonna start? I have a friend who regularly says that, but she's very angry at her twin. That doesn't help either. Your anger directed at your own other half, believe me, it's felt. Would you like to feel something else? Would you like to feel the balm of forgiveness, the balm of your spirit helping you to truly feel each other, to commune, to have a true communion of spirit without it being all churchy, okay? That's a communicate, okay? Communicate, communicate. These are things that, honestly, the French have a lot of really good words for a lot of this stuff, but I'm not French. Communique and, you know, la guerre, like let's get rid of that and let's have a communique, please. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know. 
I do have a relationships webinar coming up here. Please like and subscribe. Let's do it different. Do it different with me, okay? Because I have the ways to cut to the chase for you. And that means getting it in an expedited manner. Because 2024, it's around the corner, okay? Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.